Hello, welcome back. Logic Pro 10 beginner's course, DJ Vic Faber with you. And let's take a closer look at our uh, transport section, our rewind, fast forward, stop, play, and record. Seems like it's pretty straightforward, but it's still nice information to cover. So let's start with rewind. Depending on where my playhead is, let me put it out here on 16th bar. If we hit rewind once, it's going to jump back in one bar increments. And the same with going forward as you hit it once or click it once, one bar increments. Now there is a faster feature for this. If I hold it down, it's going to jump in eight bar increments. See how it, much quicker it went there. Let's start it at two. And if I hold it fast forward, it jumps in eight bar increments. The next one is our stop button, but if you notice, if I'll put it out here, the stop button changes now. Now it's a go to the beginning button. So if I click that, it becomes the stop button, takes it right to the beginning. And if it's out here, it's gonna ask to go to the beginning. Play, of course, you just saw what we hit play. It starts the playhead moving from any position that it's currently in and going forward from there. And then the record button is only going to be available. You can only record on tracks that have the R over here that are record enabled. So you've got MIDI channel, you've got the audio channel, and you've got the vocal channel, all with the R indicating that they are uh, record enabled. So if I click the R, and now it's ready to go. And if I click the uh, record button, it's going to begin to record. But before I allow it to do that, I just wanted to, I can leave it at the front, just wanted to show you a, a feature that we sort of went over earlier. It's the one, two, three, four, and I mentioned that it counts in for you. This is a good time for us to kind of examine how that process works. So if we have that activated, one, two, three, four, it's going to count in one, two, three, four, and then it's going to start. So let's take a listen to that. We should hear the metronome in the background. Boom. So, of course, if I had a microphone or an instrument coming in here, it would actually record that audio. In this case, it just went ahead and recorded a blank. I mean, there might be something there because it could be picking up a little ambient noise on the mic. But just to give you the idea how the uh, one, two, three, four, the metronome count in works right there. Now, that will work in any spot. It doesn't have to work from the beginning. So if we were to set it at 16, the recording would begin at 16 but the playhead will go back to 15 and count up to it, count up for us. Let's take a look at that. So you notice there, we put the playhead on 16, but because we had the, the count in one, two, three, four, you know, one, two, three, four measures on that bar, the playhead jumped back to 15 and the recording actually started on 16 exactly where we had the playhead. So something important to note when you're in the middle of the project, put the playhead where you want the recording to begin and count it in and the playhead will go back and allow you to have the four, four uh, count measure. So that's rewind, fast forward, stop, play and record. Let's move forward and dedicate a full lesson to our LED display. I'll see you in the next lesson.